Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so keen for this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to Photo Crazy, a series where I put your photo ideas in this wheel, we spin them, and whatever it lands on, I gotta create a cool, interesting photo out of. Let's just get straight into it and spin this wheel. A cucumber. All right, that could be cool. I've got a really cool idea I want to try for this. Let's get into it. Okay, these will definitely not suffice at all. What do you think this is? Some kind of low budget YouTube photography series? Well, you'd be right, but we're not using them. Now these are more like it. Yeah. So I've bought two cucumbers as you can see here. Um, one of them is the one I'm actually going to use and then the other one's just going to be a spare one just in case um, I ruin the first one. So the plan is I kind of want to do a shot similar to these where it's like an action shot in the middle of the action of the cutting. So I want to capture a shot like that this episode using this cucumber. So I'm not really sure what lens I'm gonna use for this photo because I've never really taken a photo like this one before. But by looking at the photos that are similar to the one I wanna create, um, it looks like they're on quite a wide angle lens because you can see the background isn't compressed up against the subject. It's, it gives quite a wide angle. So the logical choice for me is gonna be the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Okay, so the focal length is sitting at 18 millimeters, which is the widest I've got. And I've managed to get pretty much the entire chopping board in, as well as the background, which is nice. Ooh, this framing is dead perfect. I think all that's left is to add the cucumber and all the debris that's gonna be coming off it, which is most likely gonna be water and some shards of cucumber and stuff like that, I guess. The problem is I don't know if I'll have enough physical hands to be able to time the photo, hold the knife, throw the cucumber in, as well as the water and the debris and that type of stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna physically do that by myself. I don't think I'll have enough. Actually, you know what, let's give it a shot and let's see how it works out. So they look sick, but as you can see, you can see my hand at the top of the frame dropping the cucumbers. It looks like I'm dropping them because the angle's so wide. That looks so sick. <laughs> looking really nice that could almost be the perfect shot the final photo for the episode but it's missing one thing and that's the water it needs some like debris coming through like the juice just just to make it more alive because I have no idea how I'm gonna manage to throw the cucumbers down and pour the water on there and it's gonna take one photo so okay I have an idea I have an idea I, I, <laughs> Oh, I'm so keen for this. It's been almost two hours. The camera is soaked. The table is soaked. The cucumbers are ruined. <laughs> I haven't got the perfect shot yet. The one that I really want to get. Like the one that I'll be happy with. Needless to say, we did get some really cool shots though, so let's pick the best ones and let's bring them into editing and see what we can do. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. 
I've got the three best ones here ready to go in Lightroom, uh, but the only problem is I can't pick which one I want for the perfect shot, for the best shot, for the shot of the episode. I, I don't know. Let's go through a little bit of editing. So what I want to do, so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to try and edit this one first. Um, I may go back to the others, but I don't know because this one is just, it hits all aspects pretty well, better than the others do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these water droplets coming down from my face. So I'm going to attempt to heal them out of existence. Okay, just fix this one up a little bit. Look at that! That was easy. Alright, let's try and crop this to make it a little more appealing. Um, this is difficult. I do not know how the f to edit this. I don't know how to edit this. This one has bamboozled me. It's bamboozled me. I think we might just have to keep the three of them because I cannot pick which one I like more. So, we've ended up with three photos because I'm too indecisive to pick one, but these are the three photos for this episode. They look really cool. I re I'm really happy with the particles, the water that came out of that. It really gives it an extra layer of depth compared to one that doesn't have the water spraying out. It just makes it look a lot nicer and just makes the image a lot more full. So that was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the photos. I hope you enjoyed the process of getting the photos. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.